Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts where I do crafts in my pajamas. Today I have some fun fall decor for you guys, but I actually decided to do all apple themed for this video. I see so much pumpkin decor and I just wanted to do some apple stuff because I think it's super cute. And so I just decided to make this whole video apple themed. So we're doing a few different signs. I'm still learning my new editing software, so I apologize if there's any weird glitches. I'm still learning, so just bear with me on that. But I hope the quality of my video is a little bit better for you guys now that I have my new camera, which I'm having so much fun with. But anyway, to start out, I have these three signs from Dollar Tree. So all of these are Dollar Tree DIYs. And I just went ahead and took some white Waverly chalk paint and painted two of my signs and then for the third one I used the color pumpkin in the Waverly chalk paint and even though it's a pumpkin color I think it looks almost like really really similar to the color of apple cider so I decided to use that for the mason jar one to make a little apple cider sign and I think it came out the perfect color. paper but it always left a sticky residue so I hated that so much and I finally found that Walmart contact paper in the duck brand is really really good and it never leaves that residue um, and so I just use that now and then I use the clear contact paper from Walmart for my transfer tape and it works perfectly and it really lasts a long time. It's like $5 per roll and I just got a new roll and I got my Cricut in um, last Christmas and I've been using it the whole entire time. So I think it's a better buy than Dollar Tree even and it works much better. But if you don't have a Cricut, I know I didn't for a really long time, but my favorite thing to craft is signs. And so I have tons of stencils that I used to use all the time. There's all kinds of different fonts that you can find. If you don't like using stencils, you could do, um, you could print something out on your computer and do a transfer that way, or even Mod Podge it on. There's so many different ways that you can make, um, signs without having a Cricut and if you'd like I know some of you are saying that you miss my videos before I had a Cricut um, so I'm thinking about doing a video of like all the different ways to make signs without having a Cricut because I know a lot of people don't so let me know if you want to see that video down in the comments um, and I will try to get that out for you and show you guys all of the different ways that I know of that you can make 
really cool farmhouse signs without using a Cricut. So once I had everything completely peeled off of there, um, after I, lay, I let my paint dry all the way and then I take off the contact paper. That way I just don't smear anything accidentally because I'm really bad at taking off the contact paper and sometimes um, it takes the, the contact paper, I'm saying contact paper so many times, but it takes the paint that's on the contact paper longer to dry than the one that's than the paint that's on the board. I hope that makes sense. So sometimes when I'm taking it off, if it's not completely dry, the paint from the contact paper will get onto the board um, because I just fail at taking it off and then I smear my project. And so I just let it dry completely and I haven't had a problem with it taking it off like that. Um, and then I decided to use one of my paint pens and I just used the Posca ones. I haven't really tried a lot of brands, but that's just because I love Posca so much. Um, I've only tried like three different ones, I think, and they're just the best. Well, I can't really say that because I haven't tried that many, but they are really, really good quality. And I'll leave them linked in the description if you want to um, try those out. They're kind of a little bit pricey, but to me, they're worth it. This video is totally not sponsored. Like, I just love Posca paint pens that much. And I apologize that I'm way behind in my voiceover right now. I just got distracted talking about my favorite Posca paint pens. But I just did a little border around that last sign. And I think it really adds a nice touch and just sanded it outside because I did a little too much distressing. So I wanted to tone that down a little bit. But moving on to this next one, um, which I'm almost done with here in the video, um, but I am just using some Maui Sand. That's the gray paint that I used on the last one too, and that's in the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk paint, and um, that's just what I had on hand. I'm sure there's a gray Waverly Chalk paint as well. Um, and then I just used the lacquer color for the apple, and I think it's the perfect rustic red, and I just love it for this little sign. I did go ahead and make a little border around the outside with the rest of my gray paint that I had out on the plate, and I think that kind of polished it off a little bit. And you could stop there if you like a nice, crisp, clean look, but I like to distress. I don't think I'll ever stop loving distressing things. Probably way too much, but I just love the country farmhouse look, and I don't think I'm going to change that at all. So if you're moving on to modern decor, you're going to be disappointed because I'm not, and I probably never will because I just love this style so much. So this little basket was actually my grandma's, and I just filled it up with some apples that my mom gave to me to make a project for her but I just used them for this video first and then I will show the project I'm doing for her in the next video um, because I wanted all these to be Dollar Tree and the one that I'm doing for her is from Target Dollar Spot from last year but I think it's going to be really cute so make sure that you watch my next video um, whenever that comes out. <laughs> I do apologize for all of my rambling. As usual, Brie is in bed and I am doing this pretty late, but you guys know the drill, so just bear with me here. But on to the third project. I really loved how this one turned out. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be allowed to share this or not because I had to pay 99 cents for the apple that I put into this design. Um, so I'm not really sure if it's like a private thing that I bought or if it was like not included with my Cricut subscription. I really have no idea how that works. Most of the stuff on Cricut they let me use for free and then sometimes they won't let me share it publicly. Um, I think maybe that's because someone else owns it. I really am not sure exactly how that works but if they let me share it then I will definitely share this SVG file with you too. Um, but for this one, I just used some ink color for the words and then I used the same lacquer color for the red apples and I think it's so so cute and actually I'm just gonna go against what I just said because I actually decided not to distress this one because I thought it just looked so pretty um the, the way it was it was like really nice and clean and I did go ahead and add some twine to this one um 
and I think that did make it look a little more rustic without actually distressing it. Um, but I used another Posca paint pen. This one was the black one and I just lined the whole thing. I just think it really adds a nice little touch. And then I did some little lines for like the top of the jar. And I am no artist. I was even looking on the back um, to see kind of where they put their lines. That's how bad I am. But um, I just really think it makes a difference instead of just leaving the jar plain. I did have a few random scrap leaves that I added to the top as well with some hot glue and then I made a little double bow and I just think it came out so cute. I love this one.